All right, so we're going to uh, enable the displacement on the material. Now, how to do that? Before that, we need to enable this, and to do that, you need to uh, when, once you create your project, you just exit, just remove it, and just go out, save. Now, then you go to the project file, Unreal Engine, uh, roll the day, and you go to configurations and find the file which is called, uh, I think, default engine. And then find this paragraph which says script engine render settings. And you need to add these two text lines uh, towards its end. Nanite dot tessellation equals one, art dot nanite dot tessellation equals one. And I have those saved so you can use them. Now just close it and then open up again the project. And now what happens whenever you create, uh, for example, a new material, right? Or use old, there will be a displacement input point here available to use a displacement math on top. Now, let's say we get the, the material from uh, Quixel content, so we need to use those um, textures that we downloaded because this greenish texture actually contains a displacement map in blue channel, I believe. So, once we have those textures, we can create instance straight away. Let's put this uh, material instance and then we go to material graph we put those uh, textures just you know UV simple stuff uh, green texture red uh, channel goes to a roughness and green goes to ambient occlusion but blue is the displacement now you can just connect displacement and uh, you know it will work but uh, you will have to change the settings on the graph only so you click on this uh, main master material graph and you go down, there will be a displacement somewhere, or you just type displacement. And you have magnitude, so whenever you control magnitude, you will control the strength of displacement. But it will not work yet, because we need uh, to create a nanite from this geometry. Basically, this material only works with nanite. So if we find this box right in our content browser, and we have to enable this as nanite. So just type nanite in search, enable nanite, and then apply changes. We can close this. Once that is applied, now as you can see, the displacement works. By default, in graph, it is a 4, but if we increase this, like let's say 20, and apply, it will apply this displacement on this uh, material. But that's too much. Let's bring it back. Apply. Now, if we want to control this, right, uh, we can create this uh, constant and call it magnitude, or maybe better call it displacement strength, and then add to the displacement. And now apply. And whenever we go to our instance material, so now we can control it through here. They actually work together, the graph and the uh, setting, the manual, the constant setting. So whenever you go here uh, on this main settings, go to displacement, and whenever you move this guy, it will also affect your manual, your node settings on top of it. So you kind of control those together, you know. It's still in, in, in the experimental stage, so it's not perfect yet, so as you can see. We can even control it even further if we would like, because we adjusted the main graph magnitude. So I don't know which is the best uh, settings here, but I guess you need to play around and find your your optimal setup. Another thing is that if you have any issues, uh, for example, if it doesn't show up, the next uh, thing you need to do is you have to write these two commands in the console. So sometimes, I don't know why, maybe it might be some or something with landscape or something with the system, it will not show up. So we just go copy this. It is the same as it was before, We the, the one that we wrote in notepad, but without the equal sign, just space instead. So we do this first line, enter, and then second line, and enter. And then it should fix it. Now, Landscapes. Landscape has got an issue. So, if, for example, um, if we create landscape now and apply this material onto this, but it has to go through this material to landscape material, 
you also have to enable nanite on landscape enable nanite and build data so it will take a little while and you see it, it, it's like spikes it's too much it just messes everything up so we have to go let's say we try to change our settings here maybe lower it down but it's not enough it's not enough and it affects both of them it actually affects well uh, the, the shapes geometry but not the landscape so landscape and geometry they kind of have uh, different uh, mathematical uh, calculations behind the scenes so I would advise to create separate material for landscape and separate for uh, the geometry material so for the landscape to work what we need to do you actually have to go and lower this magnitude in the graph uh, options even further so it might be one or I found out maybe 005 might work well and then apply let it load and then as you can see if I go here and raise this up it affects the landscape now right so you have what you have to do is to create two separate materials for two separate uh, things landscape and the geography geometry